we start with the with the pastis Henri Bardouin. This is a, a pastis uh, that is uh, made from 65 um, botanicals. So there are uh, a lot of plants from Provence, uh, the thyme, the rosemary, the sage, uh, angelica, mugwort, and so on. Uh, but there are also some more exotical uh, uh, spices, uh, the cardamom, the cloves, the nutmeg, the, um, the tonka beans, uh, and, so, and so on. Um, it's, uh, it's really in the identity, actually, of the pastis to be a mix. Pastis in the Provencal language, um, it's, it means uh, mix, and mix for two reasons, because you mix it with water uh, to, to drink it very fresh at the aperitif, and also because it's a mix of a lot of uh, plants and, uh, and, and spices, and we really wanted to, uh, to come back to this identity with our pastis Henri Bardouin, um, because um, it has in Provence, all the family used to to do some pastis with the, the plants that they had around, but also people living closer from the sea, especially from the city of Marseille, which had a very important port, the most important of the Mediterranean Sea at the time, um, used to see arrive by the boat a lot of spices from all around the world. And so uh, some of them would buy some and will mix it with all their Provencal herbs to make their own pastis. And so it's really um, uh, um, uh, like uh, something that we want to, to link with the origin that, uh, of the pastis. And that was one of the reasons why we, we created this very um, a mix uh, and very uh, rich pastis uh, more than uh, 30 years ago now. Okay, so. And I want to show you, yeah, also one thing. I picked three of the most uh, important in of the pasty. So maybe you can say in the in the chat if you recognize it. So that is the key of any pasties. So tell me if you if you uh, if you recognize it. Star anise, exactly. That was not the most complicated. Then. Well done, Lisa, Sibel, for that. Let's see if you can now find what is that. Another very important ingredient in our pastis Henri Bardouin, that. It's cardamom, uh, not coriander. We have, uh, oh yeah, you, you were right also, Suzanne. So well done, Susan, Lisa, Susan, Lisa and, and Sibel. Uh, it is, it is uh, green cardamom indeed. We, we, um, we actually use a bit of the white and, and the green cardamom. And it's among the 65 uh, ingredients, cardamom is one of is the, the spices that really is the, the most important in our pasties. Uh, Another very important ingredient, and that one will be the, the most difficult to find. Wow, Claire, well done, well done. That's, that's the mug word. I was going to give, to give um, an help uh, with, uh, with uh, um, wormwood because it's from the same family than wormwood. Uh, it's the Artemisia family, family the genepi. Uh, you have so the wormwood, the mugwort, uh, and other and other uh, botanical. The the mugwort is really important in our uh, pasties. It gives it its color first. Um, so I show you. It's uh, light green with a bit of uh, uh, yellow hints. Um, so that's the color that comes mainly actually from the mugwort. Uh, it gives also its, um, its structure, what we say in, in French, the structure to the, to the, to the product. Uh, and yeah, it's really important in the, in the taste, um, the, 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 the mugwort. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so that's the, uh, 
the three most important ingredients. I put, okay, the pastis, then the fresh water. It's important to start with the water and then to add the ice. Because if you add the ice at first, you don't, oops, it will freeze the anetol, which is the, the, the essential of the, the anise. It will freeze it and uh, you won't have a, a, a cloudy uh, color first, a cloudy effect, but you won't also have um, the, the same taste. It will uh, affect the taste. So better first water. If the water is not uh, 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 cold enough, then you can add ice. You can add ice. I see that uh, Lisa say no ice. You are right too. If it's if the water is cold enough, cool enough, it's also a really nice uh, like that. But if you add the, uh, the ice after, no no worries. Okay, so all right, I now I'm gonna I'm gonna invite Ed, Jill, and Allison to give also their their impression on the on the product for for me uh, so you you really feel uh, of course the star anise which is uh, which is important um, you almost no feel the licorice that is inside because we put the minimum level of licorice uh, so it's main, main, mainly on the star anise the the anetol um, and of course all these spicy uh, these spicy uh, uh, flavors mm. With cardamom, of course, that that uh, really is important uh, in the taste. Ed, can you uh, what 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 can you say? Yeah, I, I was delighted to get this bottle of pastis arrive on my desk. It's a category I don't drink often enough, clearly, um, but have many fond memories of. Uh, certainly, when I open the bottle, immediately the anise just leaps out, um, and it's like, oh yes, I remember you, pastis. Uh, <laughs> wonderful um, and on the first uh, taste without the dilution the anise is still very dominant however as soon as you add the water the whole uh, uh, drink just opens up you get that wonderful complexity that yeah it's an expression of your many spices and herbs that you include um, particularly that delightful cardamom edge I think it really sets it aside from Rigar and some of the other uh, brands and then as the finish continues, you get this distinct spicy character, which once again, I think really works with that anesthetic quality that you get from pastis and other anise-based drinks. And just the length on the palate and the body, the mouthfeel, it's delicious. Well done. Thanks a lot <laughs> for this very uh, uh, complete, uh, complete, uh, uh, well, feedback on the on the pastis. More complete than 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 uh, me. I also lack of a bit of vocabulary. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but hopefully Ed is here uh, to really uh, to really give the the whole thing. Thanks, thanks, Ed. Um, what about what about you, Alison? Oh, I thought it was absolutely delicious. This is um my second bit of tasting <laughs> i like the um it it was smoother than i thought actually it's got this lovely aftertaste and you can really i really could taste the cardamom yeah exactly yeah, absolutely good. delicious love it good palette alison thank you uh jill yes would you add um, something <laughs> well it's about 30 years since i last drank pasties when i was in the south of france working on a campsite and this is so smooth and sweet and gentle. Um, I, I, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. What is it that adding the water does? What, why does it turn cloudy? What happens there? And how much? You, what's the proportions? What, you sh what should you? Uh, the proportion. So with ours, uh, it's important to uh, to put a lot of water because. Um, it's very aromatic as uh, uh, it's very well balanced. As you say, it's gentle, but in the yeah. same time, it's powerful in the aromas. And so if you want to get the best of all the aromas in the same time that you want something very refreshing, uh, you will uh, put one part of pastis for 
um, seven to nine parts of uh, of water. Some okay. people might like it a bit more stronger, uh, like a six six or seven parts. But uh, but less than six, it will it will be um, too heavy in taste actually because it's very powerful. Yeah. So uh, yeah, to get the best, I will say. Um, uh, seven, eight, uh, eight parts of water, very, something very light and refreshing. And, uh, and so the, 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 the cloudy thing, it's thanks to the anetol. So the, the essential oil, almost essential oil, it's actually, it's part of the essential oil of the star anise. And <laughs> it's how, and, and when it gets in contact with water, it gets, uh, it gets cloudy. It's, it's a really magic in the glass. <laughs> chemical, yeah, ex exactly. It's a, it's a chemical effect that you that you have, um, and um, and uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's how that's the best way to drink pastis. It's really the traditional, the French way, the way most of the people drink it. Of course, you can also use it in some cocktails, um, especially ours because you don't have. Uh, a licorice taste, really. Uh, the anise taste, of course, is is uh, strong, but you have all this spicy taste. So it will be a pastis, um, really, also well uh, adapted to uh, to cocktail uh, to cocktail uh, making. And so I could uh, uh, talk about the the what I call the the pastis sour with uh, with so some pastis orja syrup. Um, I, I don't know. It's almond syrup, the orja syrup. Uh, some some lemon juice um, and some uh, to top with uh, sparkling water. If you want to shake it with uh, uh, aquafaba or a white egg, it's uh, it also gives a nice structure. That's a nice uh, cocktail to uh, to make. Then it's also really good with uh, with food. Uh, it's the product of our range that uh, that the chef a lot of chef uh, use. Uh, the most in our range, uh, with especially with the fish, grilled fish, or wow. sea, or seafood, um, uh, uh, shrimp, uh, salted shrimp, flambeed shrimp, any kind of uh, of seafood actually. Also with risotto, uh, for example, you add some some pasties in your in your pot in your risotto. Uh, you just let. Uh, the magic of the pastis uh, 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 do his its work. Then, when you open after a few minutes, it's an explosion of flavors. You know, so uh, yeah, a lot of recipes that you have on our website. We will uh, you will have uh, all the information of, on Taste of France website. Uh, uh, so do not hesitate to go to uh, to see some uh, some uh, recipes. I see some question. Uh, sorry, I didn't answer it before about the pasties. So, um, how old is the pasties? So, uh, pasties uh, really, as a commercial drink, was born uh, after the ban of the absence uh, because people still wanted a nanny's drink, but without the wormwood because it was forbidden. So, um, uh, in the 20s, in the 1920s, uh, pasties started really as a commercial drink, but actually it, it has had been um, uh, a drink that people used to make at home for long before that. Uh, so it's quite old, uh, quite old uh, uh, and traditional product in the south of France and in France in general. Um, uh, someone asked uh, if. Uh, if uh, we can drink the, the pasty straight, I will not recommend it. It's not the best. It, it can be it can be good for some people. Uh, to my view, it's not the best way to uh, to appreciate uh, appreciate it. Much better with uh, with water at the at the aperitif. Um, and where can we buy this? Uh, that's a good question. There is uh, at the moment there is a, um, a promotion on the website a drink shop. Uh, drink shop, so there is a 10% off on on all our products, and uh, and uh, a free delivery also uh, for people that don't have access to uh, to internet uh, or to the drink shop uh, websites uh, that are not maybe uh, in their country it doesn't exist. Um, you you can find it in the UK uh, uh, in the Waitrose shop, 
um, and uh, well, in the US, you can find it uh, in the, I guess in Oregon, we, we, we distribute it. Uh, our importer is uh, Crayon Importers. And, uh, and then in each state it's different, but uh, um, in, I know that in most of the states it's, uh, it's available in your liquor stores. Um, uh, but do not hesitate if you don't find it to, uh, to ask the question and then I will be able uh, to, 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 reply, uh, to reply later. Um, 30 years Sacre Bleu, yeah, indeed, Lisa. Um, how, how to find here in Beaverton? So as I said, in Waitrose or in the, in the, in the um, uh, of course, uh, the drink shop, has the, especially at the moment, there is this, uh, this offer. Um, and then I, with mussels, maybe I never tried. I never tried it uh, with lamb and pork too. Uh, it can be also, especially if it's a bit spicy. Um, uh, no, we don't have wormwood uh, question. If we have wormwood in it, we don't have wormwood in, uh, in, the, in the pasties, only mugwort. The wormwood, it's in our absence that you can see uh, here behind me, uh, but not in the not in the pastis and not in any pastis actually. But the mugwort has a, a taste that is a, a bit similar uh, to the to the wormwood, but in less uh, in less strong. Okay, um, now uh, now we are going to keep going with the with the rinquinquin, uh, and I say to my guests. See you maybe just at the at the end of the of the tastings.